Welcome to raikulpul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about Jira service management. So whenever we are working with any enterprises, we are looking for support. So Jira service management is helping us to manage our end-to-end -end support activity or help desk activity. Let's say we are working in operation team and our internet is not working right now. We are sitting in the office and we are unable to connect with Wi-Fi as well as with LAN. In that case, probably we will reach out to the IT team. So in few of the organizations or many of the organizations, I can say they have the complete process. So even if you are struggling with the internet or any other issues, you have to reason request to the IT team or help desk team to resolve these issues. This, this is a complete process. Now to raise this, definitely will need any applications jira is helping us to manage all of our requests and help us activity in one place so here let's say you are struggling with any any of the support activity and you are looking for the support or you are looking for any solutions from the it team or help desk team so definitely you will be here within the project so you will just select any of the issues or support you are looking for select the issue types like maybe you are struggling with email request or maybe technical support for any application so here i will specify my application name let's say we are struggling with issue in jira project management tool now to access this project management tool jira is the project management as a service desk as well as defect reporting tool as of now Let's consider Jira project management tool, which is deployed in some other instance. In that case, user is unable to access it. So let's say unable to access Jira project management tool and getting an error of you are not an authorized person. In that case, user will raise the request, select the organization's type and then click on create. Once the user will create a request, it will jump into the query queue sections and here this will be automatically assigned to waiting for the support. As of now, it is not assigned, but we can also assign it to someone. Let's say uh, I'm assigning to myself. So here you can see the assignment name yourself. But if you are looking for the request, definitely you have to assign to the ID or support team for doing this activity now once you have raised this defect uh, or issue or support request people will reach out to you regarding the issues within the defined tag depending on your organization stat or support structure or the chain system once they will reach out to you they will try to understand your issues and after that they will try to resolve this issues other than that here you can see the team priority so it's your or are open issues or support issues which is assigned to you unassigned issues box open support issues and feature suggestion now here we have again one more form if you're looking forward for any supports related with technical support just select the specify it will automatically select your email id provide summary once you add the summary detail and descriptions and click on send, this request will be sent out to the team member who is responsible for this. If you have any attachments, you can also add the attachment sections. So this is how we can reason service request uh, within our team and manage it. After anyone has a look about the defects or support issues, they, and once it is resolved, they will close this issues let's say i don't want to keep this issues probably i will just cancel it now you can see this report is moved into the cancel status and this is not more available within the queue sections now you can see again uh, this way also needs to be removed now here we can also add in the queue clone the queue whichever issues you want to clone it or delete the queue totally depending on your need you can perform these all operations. In the knowledge based repository, we can write an article for making user understand to access anything, maybe any templates creations, or maybe any articles or organizations feedback sections. So here we will utilize the knowledge sections for generating these all reports. So this is type of wiki pages where we can use within our 
organizations channel people here we have the different options how we can configure it uh, with the channel and people which we wants to target or which, from where we are requesting request in the customer sections here we have the customer sections which all person is available you can see all those person detail in the project settings you can customize your project totally depending on your requirement and you will have all those accesses available if you are the admin if you're not admin, probably you don't have the access of the project setting of all the sections. So you won't be able to perform anything. In the raise request uh, sections, this is a re uh, for requesting a re request. Or for This is a raising for requesting anything which you are looking for. So sometimes it's licensing and billing questions, maybe product trial questions, maybe other questions. Like if you are looking for some certifications, you can add it here suggestion new features if you are looking forward to implement any products or you have any suggestions or idea you can suggest to your team member suggest for the improvement if if you think so you, you are looking forward for the suggestion of the improvement pointer so this will open issue navigator you will have all those issues which is listed within your projects so this is how we can use customer services or our jira service management tool for optimizing managing and helping our team to work efficiently that's all from this video if you enjoyed the content and if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching